Connecting the experts of more than 90 countries, the 80th IEC General Meeting started in Frankfurt today. Almost 3,200 experts of the IEC community will work together with expertise and commitment on the current topics of electrotechnical standardization and its future. Well, this is amazing and uh, really looking to learn a lot more about the international standardization, particularly with a changing generation mix. Uh, including more wind, more solar, more renewable energy. I'm interested in a different kinds of opinions. I can hear the different kind of point of view at the meeting and there are many people from the countries. So I'm very excited to have a meeting, yes. The official opening ceremony took place at the Frankfurt Festhalle. The presidents of the IEC, VDE, DKE and State Grid welcomed about 1700 guests. Highlight was the floating stage and the laser show, illustrating the motto Connecting Communities, Reinvent Standardization. An amazing percussion show fascinated the whole audience. The show was really looking like the Olymp Olympic kind of you know, opening. It was really exciting, very organized. So it was amazing, it was awesome, and uh, the, the music and the laser show was fantastic. The whole thing on the next generation, I think that's interesting. I think the IEC has to reinvent itself, so I think that was quite a powerful message. A newly invented platform at the IEC General Meeting is the Reinvention Lab, an ideal setting for experiments and impulses. This will set the frame for the week and uh, get everybody in the right mindset. The first session, Influence of Digitalization on Standardization, showed that the landscape of topics in the field of business and technology is largely defined by the megatrend of digitalization. Smart networking of products, systems and processes is used to create added value. The result? Shorter product life cycles, accompanied by speeding up innovation. When IoT meets IEC, both have to collaborate properly and have to adapt the, the speed to the needs of the industries. There's for me one key topic, so speed matters. Reinventing standardization was discussed at the SMB meeting. For the collaborative development of standards, online collaboration tools will be available. This allows experts to jointly develop content online and make the results easier accessible and available faster. Both managing committees came together in nine-hour lasting meetings. Also, the CAP. A working group led by India has examined the topic of direct current deployment. As of today, a new product committee has been established, the TC on Low Voltage DC. This is actually a, a, a landmark day for us because the main goal is actually two things, I should say. One is enabling electricity access and the other is to bring together a new distribution system where all the loads and all the sources, especially solar, PV, etc. can be integrated into a new distribution system. Think of it as an alternative to alternating current which we have lived with for the last few decades. In the CAP meeting it was pointed out that systems for cyber security will enhance the need for testing and certifying those systems. Traditionally the IEC awarded the Edison Award. Eight experts were honored for their extraordinary activity as chair or secretary. The first day of the 80th IEC General Meeting started with far-reaching visions and was the beginning of shaping the future of standardization. IEC General Meeting 2016 Connecting Communities Reinvent Standardization